Hi, my name is Anandha Krishnan and welcome to my channel ICU Skills and Training. Today my topic is about chest x-ray interpretation by a nurse. How a nurse can interpret this chest x-ray? So every day in our clinical practice we are getting this chest x-ray in our hand and most of us are doing what we are giving this directly to the doctor to interpret it. So before giving this to the doctor we should have an idea what it has what are the findings so I am trying to explain the findings the basic of interpretation in chest x-ray so please watch full this video and I am I'm promising you that you will get an idea about how to uh, interpret the basics of this chest x-ray and as we know that chest x-ray is a small dose of radiation that helps to produce the picture of heart lungs tissues chest wall surrounding tissues etc and also we can try we can diagnose some disease conditions such as pneumothorax hemothorax ARDS pleural effusion pulmonary edema some fractures consolidations etc so Please subscribe my channel and encourage me to do further videos. So let's go to the steps for easy interpretation. As usual, patient name and identification. And uh, we can divide it into two that is basic and uh, the rollout section. In basic, in assessment, the x ray film is AP view, PA view, or lateral view. And the second is the image quality, in that, the inspiration and the rotation and the third is exposure uh, need to check whether the film is underexposed or overexposed in rollout section we can divide that from a to f alphabetic order a is air and airway b is bonds c is cardiac chillet and carina d is diaphragm e everything else and f is length field how we can differentiate AP view and PA view is that the scapular shadow seen in length field in AP view and in PA view the scapular shadow away from the length field and one more in AP view the vertebra visible through the heart shadow and in PA view the vertebra is less dense lateral view of chest x-ray particularly useful to detect the retrosternal and retrocardiac air spaces moreover it also used to examine the lungs bony thoracic cavity mediastinum and great vessels the second step is image quality and in that you need to check the inspiration we need to count the rib of the right side of the lung if it is less than 10 it is not extended well so we will miss some diagnosis the second step in image quality is rotation we need to check the clavicular head is symmetrical or asymmetrical if it is in the same alignment there will not have any rotation but it is in different alignment or is asymmetrical it suggests that it has rotation and in that cases we will miss some diagnosis by over exposure to the affected area the next important step is exposure how we can differentiate good exposure overexposed and underexposed in good exposed chest film we can see sufficient vascular markings and the vertebrae thoracic vertebrae is visible but in underexposed the thoracic vertebrae is not visible and the chest x-ray looks whitish but in overexposed we can see thoracic vertebrae but there will not have vascular markings and the chest x the lungs will be blackish so let's go to the uh, diagnosis or rollout section in that the first one is airway and air in that we need to check the trachea has any deviation or it is in the midline position to rule out pneumothorax and in air we need to check any air in the pleural cavity to find out um, pneumothorax and also we need to check uh, 
whether any subcutaneous emphysema and pneumoperitoneum. The second alphabetic is B in that it suggests of bonds. We need to check the clavicle ribs, each ribs and the vertebrae to find out any fractures. The intention of this is we don't want to miss any finding. Alphabetic order C stands for cardiac chelate and carina. The cardiac chelate is a portion where the heart is situating and the cardiac chelate diameter should be less than 50 percentage of the diameter of the rib cage. If it is more than it suggests of cardiomegaly. And carina is a bifurcation of trachea. The trachea is divided into two bron uh, bronchi right and left and from right bronchi and left bronchi it's divided into bronchioles the portion which is called as hilum and if any supra hilar lymph node is present it is suggest of old tb alphabetic order d stands for diaphragm the diaphragm is a doom shaped thin layer of muscle that separate lung cavity from abdominal cavity Actually, in this chest x-ray interpretation, we need to check the diaphragm, is it symmetrical or asymmetrical. Normally, the right side of the diaphragm is little bit up because the liver is situated in that area. And more asymmetrical nature suggests of hernia, trauma, congenital tumor, etc. The highlighting one is costophrenic angle and cardiophrenic angle. The costophrenic angle, it suggests... Uh, of to detect any pleural effusion and the cardiophrenic angle to detect any right or left ventricular hypertrophy. E stands for everything else. In this chest x-ray we can see the tip of the endotracheal tube that is 2 cm above the bifurcation of the trachea that is called as carina and also we can see the tip of the central line and ECG leads. Here we can see the tip of nasogastric tube. The tip of the Swankens catheter is located. It's on the right pulmonary artery. In this film, we can see the two tips of ECMO cannulas and the down one is a drainage cannula that is draining the blood and the upper one is written cannula. The last alphabet is F that suggests it's for lung field. So in lung field, you need to check the vascular markings to check the absence of vascular marking suggests of uh, pneumothorax or hemothorax because of the pressure on the pleural cavity. And you need to check the haziness. If the lung field is whiter than the normal lung, it suggests of pulmonary edema or ARDS, acute respiratory distress syndrome, and some white patches or consolidation suggest of pneumonia. I hope now you got an idea about how to interpret a chest x-ray. So in my coming video I will explain various type of disease conditions which is commonly seen in our day-to-day -day life and how we can interpret that in x-ray. So if you like this video please subscribe my channel and press the bell icon for my further videos and share my videos to others so please support me and encourage me to do further more videos thank you thank you very much